Okay, this video is just a quick video. Um, now, for this video, I've already started taking this moto apart. Now, this is a, a fan out of a microwave. Now, there's the armature that's inside. Now, that is not magnetic. So, the magnet is produced for the coil. And it looks like the field is around those uh, copper areas. So, it makes it spin. Now, <clears throat> there's just the other bits of the motor. Just the front and back and the armature. So that bit's pretty straightforward. Now, what I've attempted to do is to 3D print another armature where I can place permanent magnets in. Now, I don't know if that will actually work this moto, motor. This is just an experiment. Uh, this one was slightly wrong. Now, this shaft uh, I found out of an old, um, an old laser printer. And it just happened to be the same diameter as the shaft here. So if it works, I will, I can cut and put a thread on that. So I get the same effect or whatever I want to do with this shaft. So I've recreated another one where the uh, magnets will actually fit in. I'll just grab a magnet. Now, now stuck together. Sorry about the uh, video work. Now this is a 12 volt um, magnet, which is on those, uh, I forgot what, that, what they call them now at the moment. Now that fits in there nicely, so what I will do is glue it in there. So then I'll create the north and the south. Now if you don't want, don't know what the north and south is, which I'm not too sure myself, glue the first magnet in. Uh, make sure the second one repels against it. Once it repels and pushes away, Put that one in on the next one and then so forth this will only take four magnets okay now i've glued the um bits with my trusty ozito tool oh if this works i'll i don't mind sharing this it's only a small part so i can share this on thingiverse or something upload it to that afterwards so um now i have to just drill this out slightly with a four mil drill bit just so it'll fit onto the shaft assemble it together then uh, i'll show you then we'll find out if uh did we get anything out of it? Okay, here I'll just show you it's partially assembled. Um, haven't quite, haven't screwed any parts in yet. But here's the uh, the back end piece. So, just an update for the video. Now, excuse the video work again. I already said that, but it's a bit shaky. So here we go. I've uh, put the screws in. And this is what it looks like. Now, the uh, space of the magnets, I'm not sure it's too far away, but hopefully I might get something. So if I just spin that for the camera. Now I know the shaft's a bit overkill, but let's just give you an idea uh, what, I'm, what I've done. And we'll find out if it works. So what I need to do is get a multimeter. Make off the end of these wires and put it on a multimeter and see what we get. Okay, well I have to tell you, um, let's just turn this light off. I can turn it on, it's a bit bright. If I can turn it off. Uh, there we go. There's a the multimeter. I've got it on uh, AC volts just to test it. On the end of the shaft, I've got the drill. Now, I have tested it previously so here's the um, connection for the multimeter put them into um, crimps just didn't crimp it too hard on the multimeter side and now when I spin it up it does actually work but the voltages are quite low so here we go so again about 1.7 volts 1.8 and And that's all the RPM output we drill, so it's a slight result. Could be the spacing's a bit too far back on the uh, magnet. I can print another one and try that. Um, but it's a start. I wasn't sure I was going to get anything. Um, not. Not a huge effort for running anything, but this was just an experiment.
um, just to see what happens. So the, the next experiment will be uh, just to get back onto the uh, 3D editing program and then uh, just adjust the um, the magnets, just bring them out slightly and a bit closer to the uh, the outside. I'll just see how much clearance I've got and then see if that makes any difference. <laughs> 